Starting off in child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch. Now if you have the blocks and you want to get a little extra opening for your shoulders, let's go ahead and put your hands on top of the blocks here. And then start working on your shoulders a little bit. Press your belly button toward your lower back or lift your belly button toward your lower back and then push your lower back toward the ground. Try to pull your hips away from your hands so you're stretching your shoulders. Your forehead may or may not touch the ground here. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just try to keep your head and your spine neutral. And we're feeling some nice stretching through the back, also probably through the shoulders. And we're gonna make this active. So squeeze your arms toward one another. And slow down your breathing, breathing in and out of the nose. Once again, I'm gonna to try to go with less instruction than usual just so you can focus on poses yourself because you already know the technique. Two more breaths. Keep your glutes, your core tight. And again, keep the upper back and the arms engaged. All right, go ahead and come up. Take it into a cat cow, hands under your shoulders, knees under hips. Inhaling to arch, focus on lengthening your upper back and your neck. Exhaling to round, keeping your abs tight, legs squeezing toward one another. Five total, make them nice and long. Try to keep inhaling or exhaling for the duration of the movement. Make sure you're always inhaling or always exhaling. Maybe a slight pause at the top. over on your back. We're going to do a little bit of core work here. Spine on your back. Bring your knees in toward your shoulders. Press your hands into your thighs, your thighs back into your hands. And in just 20 seconds, as hard as you can, press. Keep your abs tight. You want to feel your hip flexors engage. You can also pretend like you're squeezing something between your thighs. If you have a block, you can even squeeze the block between your thighs for a little extra engagement to the inner thighs. 10 seconds left. Really push. And then relax. Take the block out. And we're going to recline twist side to side. Arms out to the sides. Inhale, legs out to the right. Keep your left shoulder down. Exhale, squeeze your ass back to the middle. To the left. Back to the middle. And five to each side. So this is opening up your lower back, but also working on your core strength at the same time. And keep the shoulders down and use your abs, use your core to bring it back to the middle. You're not pressing into your hands here to get it back. Using your core strength to come back. And if you feel a little tight right now, that's okay. Keep doing this and your body will start to open up. Slow and controlled movement. Last set, one to each side. Reverse crunch is squeeze your knees toward your shoulders as tight as you can. So bend your knees as much as possible. Press your lower back toward the ground. Press your belly button down. 
Squeeze your knees toward your shoulders, engage your hip flexors, and then bring your legs straight out. Squeeze your legs together, reach your toes back, drive your heels forward, and if you need to bring your legs up a little bit higher, that's fine. And then bring your knees back in again. Squeeze your knees toward your shoulders, engage your hip flexors, flex your knees, and bring it back out. Extend your legs, drive your heels forward. You can keep your head relaxed on the ground. Make sure your lower back is still touching the ground. Squeeze your thighs together and bring it back in. Squeeze your knees toward your shoulders. And then last one, back out. Squeeze your legs together, reach your toes back. Make your legs as long as possible. And then bring it back in. Grab your knees with your hands. Just kind of roll from side to side. Just get a little stretch. And then into bridge, plant your feet just a couple inches in front of your hips. Squeeze your thighs together. Lift your butt up. Straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Make sure the ribs are drawn in so you're not arching your back too much here or not splaying open your chest. Squeeze your glutes. So we're going to work on your glute engagement. And again, drive down through your big toes and your heels. And hold here for 30 seconds. So let's do two more breaths. And then really quickly, one leg bridge. Right leg straight out, hold it 15 seconds. Just work on that glute activation. Keep your hips level, keep driving down through your left foot. And then switch right foot down, press down through your right foot. Left leg is straight out. Squeeze your right hip in and lift it up. About five seconds left, really squeeze. and then plant your left foot, bring it down, <sighs> nicely done. All right, we're gonna move up to a standing position from here. And into a balance. So stand on your right foot, bring your left knee up to hip level, press your hand into your thigh, and then go ahead and bring your right arm straight overhead and squeeze your right arm back as much as you can. So we're working on engaging, your upper back here, stretching your chest, but also engaging your thighs and your hips, your core, working your ankles. Two breaths. Relax your chin. Make sure your hips are directly above your planted foot. And then release. Switch sides, bring your right leg up. Press your right hand into your right thigh. Drive down through your left heel, bring your left arm up, squeeze your left arm toward the back. Make sure you're not arching your chest and make sure the ribs are drawn, ribs are drawn in. So you're staying neutral here, strengthening the upper back, but also opening up your shoulders. Two more breaths here. Still driving your hand into your thigh. All right, and then release. High lunge, right foot forward, left leg back. Press your right heel toward the ground. Squeeze your left glute. Try to pull up in that hip flexor. Make sure your spine is neutral. Feeling this all right in the midsection, right in the core. Keep your weight in your heel and your toes. Bring your arms up. Squeeze your arms back. Palms face one another and hold here. Let's do three deep breaths. Exhaling to sink deeper. One more breath, just for fun. So you can go a little deeper. All right, right hand to right thigh. Reach your left arm up and over. We're going to go a little bit deeper into this hip. 
So really press your arm up, pull your left oblique in toward the middle, tighten your ribs, and reach up and over. So we're getting a nice deep stretch through that left hip. Two breaths here as well. Maybe sink it a little bit deeper. Maintain height. All right, and then back to the middle. Stand back up and switch sides. Right leg back, drive down through your left foot. Come up into that high lunge. Again, knee over the ankle, left glute engaged. Try to squeeze your right glute as well. Your spine neutral and keep the focus of your body weight right in the middle, right in your core. Arms come up. Neck is neutral, so pull your neck back, relax the chin, and use your exhale to sink deeper into this. Four breaths. Keep the ribs drawn in, make sure you're not arching your chest. Try to keep your right leg as straight as possible. Really squeeze your right thigh. And then left hand, left thigh. Keep the ribs drawn in tight. Keep your right oblique tight. Reach up and over to the right, going deeper into that right hip. Maintain your balance. Push down through your left heel. Stay tall. And a couple more breaths here. Stand back up, toes touch. Take it straight into a standing back bend. Press down through your feet, lift your chest up, press the forehead toward the ceiling, get your neck nice and long, arms up and squeeze back. 30 seconds here. Make sure the weight stays centered in your core. Pushing down evenly through both feet. Lift your chest up and back. Last 10 seconds. Straighten your arms, reach back even more. And then release into a chair pose. So palms face one another, bring your butt down and back, squeeze your legs together, put the weight into your hips. Keep the knees back, you should be able to see your toes. Keep your neck neutral. And sit down a little bit lower, just 20 seconds here. So get some really nice Hip work in, strengthen your glutes, feel your muscles engaging, draw the ribs in, now arching your back, last 10 seconds, press down through both feet hard. And then bring your chest to your thighs, keep your knees bent, bring your hands to the ground, if you can, bring your hands to a block. And then lift your hips, keeping chest to thighs into a forward fold. Keep your abs tight, keep the tops of your thighs squeezing toward your chest. Tuck your chin if this feels good. And a really nice controlled forward fold here. Again, keep the abs tight, keep your upper thighs and your hip flexors engaged. Ten more seconds here, just getting a nice stretch for your hamstrings, but really focusing on that engagement. Half lift. Pull your body forward, make an L shape. Squeeze your legs together. Lengthen your torso. Ten seconds.
Thanks for joining me for this workout today. Make sure you subscribe. We put out lots of videos like this on a very regular basis. And to get full access to all of my workouts, my programs, tutorials, and more, head to manfulyoga.com. Sign up for a seven-day trial. It's just $1. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.